It's Wolf, and to get right to the title of this video, I'm going to be trying to put an Among Us room into Club Penguin. I've had this idea for a while, just didn't really get around to it, and then I saw Among Us trending on Twitter and stuff because of the new Fortnite mode that is pretty much a clone of Among Us. So it reminded me that I had this idea, so I want to get it. I'm going to move kind of fast in this video because I've already made videos like this in the past, so... If you want to see more in-depth explaining, those are around on my channel. I have a whole Club Penguin single-player tutorial video. But anyway, to get started, first thing we need to do is make a SWF file of an Among Us room. And so, in order to do that, one of the reasons I had this idea was because Among Us has a really similar art style to Club Penguin. And I know I'm not the only person to, to have this idea, but even just looking at it here, this is the communications room from the Skeld in Among Us. I've never actually played Among Us. I've seen tons of memes about it and everything. I have a pretty good concept of what it is, but I just haven't actually, like, bought it. Anyway, though, as you can see, the art style here very similar to Club Penguin's art style. So, first thing we need to do is make sure everything is sized correctly and make a Swift file to use in Club Penguin. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is take this picture of the town and put it into paint.net. I'm working off of some stuff I did in a previous video where I added a hub room that was never released into Club Penguin that Red Keytar tweeted about, and then I put that into Club Penguin. This picture is not the same exact size as that one, but I think that it'll all still end up working out to, to make sure everything is sized correctly. So now we have this. It's 1000 by 632, which is a really weird resolution, but I think it'll all work out mostly okay. This is not going to be perfect. If I had, like, Adobe Flash CS6, I think is the Adobe Flash that people use for Club Penguin stuff. If I had that, things would work out a lot better, but I just don't have it, and there's not really a way to buy it anymore easily. So, yeah, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, and I'm also going to put that into the paint file the paint.net file, and I'm going to overlay it on top of this picture of the town from Club Penguin, so that way we can size everything up correctly. So I'm mainly thinking, the, the reason I wanted to use the town was because there's these chairs out here, and then there's also a chair in here. The communications room I know is really small, but it's one of the most, like, square-ish rooms, so I think it's the best bet, but this would work if I did pretty much any other room. So want to just try to get the chair to look as similarly sized to that chair as possible. Which, I think that is about good. So now, now that we have the communications room Club Penguin sized, now we're going to get rid of the background layer, because we don't need that. And... Oh wait, hang on, I'm moving things in the background layer. I need to click back on layer 2. I want to try to make sure this is centered. But as I said, this isn't going to work out perfectly. It's more so going to be like kind of adding a background. If I had Adobe Flash, I would be able to make more complex stuff. And people who do have Adobe Flash and are more skilled than me can probably do a lot more with this idea. I mainly wanted to make this video as kind of like a proof of concept for like both a Club Penguin mod to put Among Us stuff in Club Penguin. But also maybe somebody can make an Among Us mod that replaces everything with Club Penguin stuff. Because I think that would be hilarious. But anyway, so now we're going to remove the background. So now we just have a properly sized communications room. Next thing I'm going to do is save this. So as you can see, I already have an Among Us folder set up. So I'm just going to call this um, communications. And I'm going to add a PNG here at the end, even though it's going to be a .png, just so that way I remember which files are which. So, now we have the PNG. Next thing I'm going to do is open up Shotcut. Close out of this paint.net file also, so that way we don't screw anything up in there. Alright, Shotcut has opened up now, so we're going to add a video track. We're going to open up that file that we just made of communications. It's going to pop up in here, and we're going to put that in Shotcut. Doesn't really matter how much length, because it's just going to be a static image anyway, pretty much. So now we need to go through, do all of the Shotcut settings, that makes a Swift in Shotcut, which, again, not a perfect Swift, not a, not a perfect way to make a Swift file, but also not a bad way, since Shotcut is free and open source and everything, and it's not super easy to make Swift files outside of Adobe software, so this is, this is a pretty good option. So I have my little note paper here with the settings, and I'll probably pop them up on screen also if you're, like, trying to follow along, but like I said, I have more in-depth tutorials, but... So we want the preset to be on Flash, the format, we want to change that to SWF. We want to leave the codec on FLV, go back into video, or 
Disable audio. I don't know if you need to do that or not, but I just do anyway and it seems to work. Plus, I think Club Penguin stores audio files in different places anyway. So now we need to change the resolution to 760 by 480. Things will look a little weird in the actual game when we when we do it, maybe depending on some resolution stuff, but that's the resolution of Club Penguin rooms sometimes. Anyway, so 760 by 480 frames per second is 24, because as far as I remember, Club Penguin runs at 24 frames a second. And that should be about it for setting up the Swift file. So now we export this Swift file. All right, there might have been an awkward cut there. I screwed up file naming. But anyway, here we are. All this stuff is set up and now we're going to export this we're just going to call it just communications i think having a space in it last time screwed it up so communications manually add dot swf or else it won't work don't know why but that's just how it does it but as you guys can see there's there's the screw up up there but so now it is exported properly it looked like it might have still even exported properly sometimes shotcut will tell you things failed even if they exported right i don't know why it does that but anyway now we have communications.swf, so now I'm going to put this on a flash drive and I'm going to swap over to the mini PC where I have all of the Club Penguin single player stuff set up. Now we are on the mini PC where I have all of the Club Penguin single player stuff and as I usually do whenever I add stuff into Club Penguin, I'm going to do it by making a mod. So I've made videos on this before and I am going to just start off by doing that i already have the mod folder here and then the communications thing i put it on a flash drive put it on this computer in my club penguin stuff folder also sorry if you can hear my uh if you guys hear like a bell my cat's playing with a toy right now so we need to come up with a name for it there we go i need to remember the file structure so hang on i'll just i'm probably just gonna go ahead and like copy off of um the central hub adder thing that I made. Actually, you know what? I could just copy and paste this directly into here and it'll give us the file path we need and then we can just change some stuff at the end. I guess we'll use, we can use party seven again. Go ahead and uh, copy this, paste it into here, rename it party seven so that way it'll replace party seven. And then the only other thing we should need to change is just this mod info, which, okay, I didn't ever put anything into the mod info. So we'll just leave that blank for now because that's just, this is just like a demonstration. I don't really need the mod info. So now we can close out of this, go into the mod manager, and check mark peng sus. Now clear the cache of the flash projector, and now I'm going to go start the server and show you guys the the room added into Club Penguin. So, game should be loaded. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know if I, uh, did I have, hang on, let me check something real quick. My, my super cool custom loading screen. Did I have that on? Hang on, I might need to, this might not work this first try because I might need to clear the cache of the flash projector again, but uh, hang on, let's let's see if it works. But the fact that that's still on, even though it should be off, is is a sign that things might not have cleared correctly. Sorry, my cat's now using a scratch pad. So, now I need to remember the ID of the room. I think it's like 857. Oh, hey, there it is. It did work. Okay, perfect. Um, so, yeah, here's here's the room. Um... It's it's blinking for some reason because the FPS maybe wasn't perfect, but uh, you know you guys get the idea. As you can see, everything is about perfectly sized. Apologies for the blink. Like I said, I maybe typed in the FPS wrong, but most stuff in Club Penguin is going to be 24 FPS. But yeah, so it's not too perfect. It's not like the the greatest representation ever because obviously there's just like darkness around it and the penguin can walk on the walls and stuff but nonetheless i just thought this was kind of a funny concept and it's so like shocking how much the art style fits to club penguin like if i could go back in time and show somebody a picture of this and be like oh it's a new epf room people probably would have believed it because it looks super similar I'm going to go ahead and hop out of the room, though, because it keeps blinking, and I know that that's not good for some people, so let's just go back to a, a normal room. But nonetheless, you guys get the point. I know that this was a very, very speedy, quick video, 
but um, I honestly kind of didn't expect that to work. Usually it takes me like seven tries anytime I try to do anything on, on video, but it, it all worked out. So yeah, that was an Among Us room in Club Penguin. Again, not perfect because it's not the perfect way to make a Swift file or anything like that, but still kind of interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Maybe somebody with some more experience with Club Penguin or Among Us will take this idea and do some, some more impressive stuff with it. I'll see you guys in other videos, and bye bye